Protesters are set to hit the streets of New York City for the 18th day in a row. And there is fresh outrage today, this time over the police shooting of a man in Atlanta. CBS 2's Natalie Dedridge joins us live from Bed-Stuy with more on the story. Natalie? Yeah, that's right, Cindy. Local leaders are expecting increased outrage and frustration over this latest incident of police brutality. A 27-year-old Atlanta man, Richard Brooks, shot in a Wendy's parking lot by police here at home. Officials urging calm, peaceful protests, positive change. For example, this morning, a mural, a piece of street art will be unveiled at Fulton Street and Marcy Avenue. You can see those letters, words painted there, forming Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! The fight for change continued for a third straight week as thousands of demonstrators hit New York City streets. Some were local, others traveled here to be part of the movement. And I drove down from Boston yesterday to come and do this, and uh, I'm happy to be part of this and use my voice and my privilege to make a change. We were there when this group called Asians for Black Lives gathered at Washington Square Park in Greenwich Village. Systemic racism has existed in America for so long and I feel like uh, there needs to be more unity amongst POCs, people of color, um, across the board. I think it's the first time I've seen everyone come together of all race, all nations around the entire world to come together to fight for us, for our people. As they prepared to walk over a mile to Foley Square. Up in Harlem, Senator Brian Benjamin was wrapping up his rally where people celebrated the signing of the Eric Garner Anti-Chokehold Act. The new law bans the use of chokeholds by law enforcement and makes it so that a police officer who injures or kills someone through the use of a chokehold or similar restraint can be charged with a Class C felony and face up to 15 years in prison. With this bill, Anyone who commits that act again will be held accountable and will do jail time. I think that sends a clear message to the police. Let's have fairness and you treat everybody the same. Garner's mom says she's happy the change finally happened. This is a form of justice. That's right. It's a step in the right direction. Yes. And some protesters say their continued efforts will not stop until more is done. I'm so happy and relieved that America is finally waking up and seeing what needs to happen. I hope it keeps going until, you know, systematic change happens. And the official unveiling of this Black Lives Matter mural will happen at 9 o'clock this morning. And meanwhile, there are dozens more demonstrations planned around the city today. And you can be sure that on everyone's mind will be this latest shooting incident in Atlanta. We are live in Bedside, Brooklyn. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.